The state of Jharkhand is bordered by the states of Bihar to the north, West Bengal to the east, Odisha to the south, Chhattisgarh to the west and Uttar Pradesh to the northwest. The most prominent physical feature of Jharkhand is the Chota Nagpur Plateau, part of the vast Deccan Plateau that occupies most of peninsular India. Chota Nagpur actually a series of plateaus, hills and valleys covers nearly the entire state and consists primarily of crystalline rocks. The total area of Jharkhand is 79,716 square kilometer and it ranks the 15th among other states. The soil content of Jharkhand state mainly consists of soil formed from disintegration of rocks and stones. There are red soil found mostly in the Damodar Valley and Rajmahal area. Micaceous soil containing particles of mica found in Koderma, Jumritalaya, Barkakaon and areas around the Mandar Hill. The sandy soil is generally found in Hazaribag and Dhanbad and the black soil is found in Rajmahal area. Jharkhand is very rich in biodiversity and is a part of the Chota Nagpur Plateau province of the Deccan Peninsula biogeographic zone. The recorded forest area is 2.36 million hectares which constitutes 29.61% of geographical area of the state. By legal status, reserve forests constitute 18.59 percentage, protected forest 81.27 percentage and unclassed forests a mere 0.14 percentage. The river Ganga plays a predominant role. Jharkhand rivers are divided into two parts. Rivers flowing from the southern part of the Chota Nagpur Plateau and the rivers flowing from the Chota Nagpur Plateau towards the north. It goes without mention that the river Ganges is one of the most important rivers of the Jharkhand. The other rivers in Jharkhand flow as tributaries to the river Ganga. Some of the rivers at Jharkhand that join the Ganges from the north are Gandak Gahra, Buri Gandak, Mahananda, Kosi, etc. As per dynamic resource calculation, present scenario of groundwater and surface water in Jharkhand is 4292 million cubic meter and the surface water is 25876.98 million cubic meter. There are 931 named mountains in Jharkhand. The highest and the most prominent mountain is Prashant Hill. Prashant Hills are a scope of slopes situated in Gridhi Lokal of Jharkhand. The most elevated pinnacle is 1350 meters. It is a stand out amongst the most essential journey place for Jains. They call it Samet Sikar. The slope is named after Prashant the 23rd Tirthankara. 20 of 24 Jain Tirthankaras accomplished salvation on this slope. There are three obvious seasons in Jharkhand. The chilly climate season from November to February is the most wonderful part of the year. High temperatures in Ranchi in December ordinarily ascend from around 10 degrees Celsius into the low of 20 degrees Celsius day to day. The blistering weather condition season endures from spring to mid June. May the warmest month is portrayed by every day. High temperature is the upper 37 degrees Celsius and low temperature during the 20 degrees Celsius. The time of the southwest storm from mid June to October brings practically the entirety of the state's early precipitation which goes from around 1000 mm in the west focal piece of the state to more than 1500 mm in the southwest. Lightning has emerged as a major threat to villages in Jharkhand with no resources or infrastructure to protect them from the natural phenomenon. Farmers and areas with the tribal communities remain especially vulnerable as they work in open fields surrounded by tall trees in hilly areas. More than 440,000 instances of lightning were registered in 2021 and 22 and Jharkhand recorded 322 deaths in 2020 and 21. Of these deaths, 96% were from rural areas and 77% of the victims were farmers. It is noteworthy in this context that Jharkhand possesses a semi-arid landscape which suffers an acute shortage of water during the hot summer months. Therefore, dry deciduous trees are common in the territory of Jharkhand. Among the important trees that form an important part of the fauna at Jharkhand are 
సాల్ జాక్ ఫ్రూట్ జామున్ కేందు గ్యాంబర్ శీషేమ్ మహువా మ్యాంగో అసన్ బహేడా అండ్ బ్యాంబూ జార్ఖండ్ విచ్ లిటరలీ మీన్స్ ద టెరిటరీ ఆఫ్ ఫారెస్ట్ ఈస్ నోన్ ఫర్ ఇట్స్ డెన్స్ ఎవర్ గ్రీన్ ఫారెస్ట్ అండ్ వైల్డ్ లైఫ్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ ద స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ జార్ఖండ్ ఈస్ నోన్ టు పొసెస్ ద రిచెస్ట్ ఎవర్ గ్రీన్ ఫారెస్ట్ ఇన్ ఇండియా స్టాటిస్టిక్స్ ప్రూవ్ దాట్ అబౌట్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ స్పీసీస్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎవి ఫౌనా ఈస్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ ద టెరిటరీ ఆఫ్ జార్ఖండ్ మంగ్ ద మేజర్ ఎనిమల్స్ దట్ ఆర్ అన్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద జార్ఖండ్ ఫ్లోరా అండ్ ఫౌనా ఆర్ ఎలిఫెంట్ బైసన్ ఉల్ఫ్ యాంటిలోఫ్ రాబిట్ ఫాక్స్ సాంబర్ వైల్డ్ బోర్ పైథన్ స్క్విరిల్ పక్కుపైన్ వైల్డ్ క్యాట్ ఎక్సెట్రా ద టోటల్ పాపులేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టేట్ ఈస్ త్రీ పాయింట్ త్రీ క్రోర్స్ ద మేల్ పాపులేషన్ ఈస్ వన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ నైన్ క్రోర్స్ ద ఫీమేల్ పాపులేషన్ ఈస్ వన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ జీరో క్రోర్స్ అండ్ ద ట్రాన్స్జెండర్ పాపులేషన్ ఈస్ థర్టీన్ థౌసండ్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెండ్ సిక్స్టీ త్రీ దేర్ ఆర్ నైన్ హండ్రెండ్ ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ ఫీమేల్స్ పర్ థౌసండ్ మేల్స్ ఇన్ ద స్టేట్ ద ట్రైబ్స్ ఆఫ్ జార్ఖండ్ కన్సిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ టూ షెడ్యూల్ ట్రైబ్స్ ఇన్ హాబిటింగ్ ద జార్ఖండ్ స్టేట్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఇన్ ఎయిటీన్ సెవెంటీ టూ ఓన్లీ ఎయిటీన్ ట్రైబ్స్ వెర్ కౌంటెడ్ అమంగ్ ద షెడ్యూల్ ట్రైబ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ విచ్ బంజారా బచూడి చిక్ బరాయిక్ అండ్ మాలి వెర్ మార్క్డ్ ఎస్ సెమీ హిందూ అబ్ ఆరిజినల్ అండ్ కోరా ఎస్ ప్రో లిటరియట్ హిందూ జార్ఖండ్ ఈజ్ అ డైవర్స్ స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా అండ్ హ్యాస్ అ డైవర్స్ రిలీజియస్ పాపులేషన్ వేర్ ద మెజారిటీ ఆఫ్ ద పాపులేషన్ ఫాలోస్ హిందూయిజం హిందూయిజం కాన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ సిక్స్టీ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఇస్లాం ఈజ్ థర్టీన్ పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ పర్సెంటేజ్ సర్నాయిజం ఈజ్ థర్టీన్ పర్సెంటేజ్ క్రిస్టియానిటీ ఈజ్ ఫోర్ పాయింట్ వన్ పర్సెంటేజ్ అండ్ జైనిజం కాన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ వన్ పర్సెంటేజ్ ద ఓవరాల్ లిటరసీ రేట్ ఆఫ్ జార్ఖండ్ ఈజ్ సిక్స్టీ సెవెన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ త్రీ పర్సెంటేజ్ అండ్ ద ఫిమేల్ లిటరసీ ఈజ్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ టూ పర్సెంటేజ్ జనని జమ్మర్ ఇట్స్ అన్ అడ్మైర్డ్ మ్యూజిక్ ఫార్మ్ ఇన్ జార్ఖండ్ స్టేట్ The main members in this music farms are women. The musical instruments include Dhol, Mandar, Bansuri, Sarangi and Kartal. Mardana Jumar It is an admired form of folk music. The major members in this music are the men. The Mardana Jumar music is offered by a congregation of shrill instruments which lifts up the belly grunt mood. The instruments include the Dhol, Shanai, Jhanj, Kartal and Nagra. Speaking of musical instruments in Jharkhand, its Sarangi looks curved. and has three main cards which weigh more than the other cards in the instrument it's played along with the singa banzuri and the arbansi to give it that enthralling quality jadur jadur is a dance form which is admired among the oran tribal people it symbolizes the productiveness energy and shows the mark of respect to the motherland with the dedication of the sun god paika the dance is exciting to behold The dance has a high degree of martial arts uh, that involves a lot of risk. Paikas originally were a group of soldiers serving and protecting the kingdom. The Paika dance is a ceremonial dance in which physical excitement and inner courage highlight the performance. The dancers wear colorful attires with a sword in one hand and a shield in the other. Damash Damash is a folk dance that is a part of the wedding rituals. Mostly the women take part in this dance. while going in the barath from the bridegroom's house the march is an energetic and happy folk dance the music accompanying the dance is equally enthusiastic the women participating in the hop sing themselves the lyrics of the song are very satirical they crack jokes while moving around the circle both the men and women dress up in their colorful dresses they all form a semicircle while holding each other's hand and sway along to the lively music karam dance Karam dance name comes from the sacred tree Kadamba. People believe the Kadamba tree to be the harbinger of the prosperity and good luck. The Karam dance symbolizes the worship and planting of the Kadamba tree. The dancers men and women form a circle with their hands around each other's waist. They pass a branch of the Kadamba tree while swaying to the rhythm. Once a circle passing the Kadamba branch is complete, they wash the branch with the rice and milk. They believe that the branch must not touch the ground after these rituals are done. After one round they once again start passing the branch amongst themselves. Karam is a major native harvest festival of Jharkhand. It is celebrated on the 11th day of a full moon of the month of Bahoda by the Sadan and the tribal people of Jharkhand. 
During this festival, people bring branches of karam tree to the village and then place them on the ground. The branches are washed with the milk and handia and decorated with the garlands, curd, rice, flowers and grains. The village priest pan half a sacrifice of karm devata for good harvest. Jitia During the festival of Jitia, mothers fast for the well-being of their children. It is celebrated from the 7th to the 9th lunar day of the Krishna Paksha in the month of Ashwin. Navakani The Navakani is an important festival that occurs in Jharkhand. During this festival, grains are eaten following the harvest. Sorai Sorai is a cattle festival of Jharkhand. It is celebrated during the Amavasya of the month of Karthik. It coincides with the Diwali festival. People fast throughout the day and bathe their cattle. In the evening, sacrifices are offered to the cattle deity. Liti Choka Liti Choka is not only a favorite food in Bihar, it is also a loved delicacy in Jharkhand. Litis are basically balls made of wheat and roasted gram jhau charred on coal. They are served dunked in desi ghee with the baigan paratha, aloo paratha and papad. Since Jharkhand and Bihar are majorly vegetarian states, this is the most common breakfast dish cherished among the local folks. This dish is not only famous in Jharkhand but is also loved across many other neighboring states of Jharkhand like Bihar, Odisha and West Bengal. Pitas are basically rice or wheat flour, dumplings stuffed with aluka chokra, various kinds of dals, kova or thickened milk. They can be both sweet or savory based on which occasion they are made. It is a special delicacy and is made during Makar Shankaranti. Dushka Dushka is one of the most popular foods in Jharkhand and it can be found in almost every home. Without trying Dushka, your trip of Jharkhand is incomplete. It is often eaten for breakfast and is made with rice and lentil, a batter that is then fried. It is usually served with the traditional gugni, which is a basic black chickpea stew. Duksha and gugni are a delicacy that should be on your list of must-try foods. Rugra Jharkhan as a must-try mushroom, a kind of mushroom found exclusively during the monsoon season, usually in the forest. Only the forest inhabitants will be able to discover it because it grows beneath the earth. Although it is exclusively found on the Chota Nagpur Plateau, it is widespread across the state. Due to its seasonal and unique development, it may be described as a unique state cuisine that no one wants to leave. You will fall in love if it is prepared properly and with the right components. Cricket, hockey and football are popular games with the people of Jharkhand. Jharkhand has given some brilliant players like Jaypal Singh, a former Indian hockey captain, and Olympian Manohar Topno, Vimal Lakhra, currently playing for the Indian hockey team. There are numerous sports complexes, stadiums and practice grounds, sports training centers where practice sessions and tournaments are held frequently. Other games like shooting, cocoa, aquatics and many indoor sports activities are also popular among the people here. Jagannath Temple Built on the same architectural lines of Jagannath Temple of Puri, the Jagannath Temple in Ranchi is an equally important pilgrimage center and major tourist attraction of Jharkhand. The construction work of the temple was completed by the king of Bhargargar Jagannathpur and Thakur Aninath Sahadev on one of the holiest days of English calendar, 25th December in the year 1691. Since then, it has been an eminent tourist attraction in the whole of Jharkhand. Maluti Temple Maluti Temple is one of the oldest temples of Jharkhand area in Dumka district. The 72 ancient temples are one of 12 worldwide sites in the category of saving our vanishing heritage. Exquisite carving on the outer walls of the temple depict scenes from the Hindu epic Ramayana. How Maluti became a temple village is also an interesting story. It is said that the Basant kings were highly pious and instead of building palaces, they built temples. After the royal family split into four branches, each branch of the family began building temples in competition with each other, creating what turned out to be the unique little temple village. Diori Temple It is said that the mandir was built during the 10th to 12th century. The doors of this mandir is made up of stones. This mandir's deity Murti have 16 hands. According to the media's reports, this mandir's murti's architecture style is similar to the murti's found in the temples of Odisha state. According to a legend associated with this mandir, this mandir was built by Adivasi king Kera. It is believed that this mandir is 700 years old. It is said that the temple was established in the year 1300 by king Kera, a Munda king of Singbom. Legend says that the king established 
built this mandir when he was returning from the war after defeating he established this temple at this very place and by the blessings of god ma kali he got the state back the economy in the state of jharkhand gets its revenue from the mineral resources sector for the states as a rich storehouse of minerals the state has almost 40% of the mineral reserves found in india the various kinds of minerals found in jharkhand are iron ore granite coal copper mica bauxite and chromite the state's mineral production amounted to 5000 crore in 2006 jharkhand also exports its mineral products to various countries such as saudi arabia bangladesh south africa and nepal the state exported minerals worth around 3 crore this sector has given a major boost to the economy in jharkhand Agriculture is the main stay for the 80% of rural population of the state. The cultivable land resources of the state have good potential for higher production of horticulture and forest products. The soil is young and has high capacity of fixation of humus. The forest provides sufficient biomass to feed its soiling. Jharkhand produces mostly three types of crops: rice, wheat and maize are the main crops. Minor crops include arahar, urad, moong, gram, mustard and so on. Jharkhand has considerably improved its faculty education system since its beginning in terms of faculty access and registration of children at the elementary level the teacher people ratio averages at 1 is to 39 to boost the supply of teachers 16349 elementary teachers and 1719 secondary teachers have been recruited in 2015 and 16 the state government of Jharkhand has emphasized the development of higher education in the last few years Many new schemes and programs have been started in the last 2 years. There are 40,174 primary schools, 2,637 high schools and 522 high secondary schools in the state. The state also has one central university, four institutes of national importance, 11 state public universities and 10 private universities. The government of Jharkhand has stood up to its promise of providing a better health service throughout the state. For this purpose, more medical officers and paramedical staff have been recruited on contractual basis. Village health committees have been set up in all villages and the health budget has been doubled. State fund for medical assistance has been set up which provides medical assistance to people below poverty line. The management of public health facilities is being done according to public private partnership model. As per the rural health statistics 2019 and 20 Jharkhand at present has 240 primary health care centers 60 community health care centers 291 sub district and divisional hospitals and 19 district hospitals in the state The total length of the state highway is about 4662 kilometers A two lane road project between Govindpur and Sahibganj is nearing completion There are 12 national highways in the state. The total length of the national highways in Jharkhand is 1805 kilometers. Buses ply regularly from Ranchi to other cities of Jharkhand. Three flyovers are coming up for smooth movement of the traffic in the city. Most of the national highways and other roads are being widened to 6 lanes to 8 lanes. Railways. The entire railway route length in Jharkhand is 1955 kilometers. Ranchi is one of the most profitable stations in southeastern railways. Goods handling facilities are available in Ranchi, Dhanbad, Bokaro and Jamshedpur stations. There are various trains to reach the cities in Jharkhand from all over the country. Jharkhand has an extensive line of railway network including 97 main railway stations and many railway junctions. Air connectivity. The development of any state can be gauged by its infrastructural improvement and connectivity with the major cities and towns. The Birsa Munda Airport is the major domestic airport located in Ranchi. Other airports present in the state are Bokaro Airport, Jamshedpur Airport, Chakulia Airport, Dumka Airport and Dhanbad Airport which mostly run private and chartered flights. It has been a turbulence all the way for the state as already seen nine governments in 13 years of its existence. As a state with 24% of tribal population and tribal chief ministers all the five CMs of the state have been tribals. Major political parties of the state are Bharatiya Janata Party Indian National Congress, Rashtriya Janata Dal, Communist Party of India, 
Janata Dal and all Jharkhand Students Union. The current Chief Minister of the State is Hemant Soren. Soren was born in Nemada in Ramgarh district, Bihar, now in Jharkhand, to Rupi and Shibu Soren, former Chief Minister of Jharkhand. He was a member of Rajya Sabha from 2009 to 2010. He started his political career as member of Legislative Assembly in December 2009. Later on, he became Jharkhand Deputy Chief Minister from September 2010 to 2013. He became the Chief Minister of Jharkhand in 2019 election. He is the 14th Chief Minister of Jharkhand. His party name is Jharkhand Mukti Morcha. They won 30 seats out of 81. The opposition party is BJP with 28 seats. The leader of the opposition is Babulal Marandi from BJP and the leader of the party is Deepak Prakash. The next state election will be in 2024. Some of the famous leaders of the state are Great Birsa Munda, Buddha Bhagat, Sheikh Bikadi, Telanga Kadia, Jirpalaya, Dhananjay Mahato and Raghunath Mahato. Some of the famous personalities from other domains are Mahendra Singh Dhoni, former Indian cricket team captain, Deepika Kumari, athlete, R. Madhavan, popular actor, Subhash Mukhopadhyay, famous physician, Aruna Mishra, athlete, Sailesh Kumar Bandhopadhyay, famous writer. In 1765, successful military mobilization to bring Santal Pragna and the British role. 1780 to 85, Tikka Manji led the tribal revolt and managed to injure British army chief. In 1912, Bihar bifurcated from Bengal and some parts of the Chotanagpur merged into Bengal. 1929, Simon Commission presented with the memorandum which demanded the formation of separate Jharkhand state. 1995, Jharkhand Area Autonomous Council was formed which comprised of 18 districts of Santa Pragna and Chota Nagpur and Shibu Sharin was nominated as the chairman. In 2000, the bill to create separate state of Jharkhand to be carved out of Bihar was passed in Lok Sabha by voice and the long cherished demand of the people of the region was fulfilled. And in 2019, Hemant Sharin became the chief minister of Jharkhand. <laughs> Jamshedpur Jamshedpur owns the pride of being home to Tata Steel, the first private iron and steel company in the country. With many industries both small and large scale flourishing here, it is indeed a surprise to see that the city has rich greenery and environment friendly. Diogar Diogar, the city of temple, is a famous pilgrim spot of followers of Hinduism. The ancient town has many temples and some are located in scenic environment. Have a feel to the land regardless of the faith you believe in and you are sure to enjoy every moment of it. Dunbad. Dunbad, the coal capital of India, ranks the 79th amongst the fastest growing cities in the world, while the city's earlier history remains a mystery. Its present development is no secret to the world as it lies at the center of the heart of the country's richest coal fields. Gridi. Gridi, called the land of hills, is also known as the land of Jain pilgrims. The highest peak of Jharkhand lies here. Being carved out from Hazaribagh, Gridi shares its history. The land abounds as mineral resources. It boasts of extensive forests too. <music> Setting up of Mega Foot Park project on 52 acres at Ranch district of Jharkhand. Two laning of Chas Bakaro, Kola Ramgarh Road in length of 78.3 km under NHDP 4. Implementation of Rural Electrification Works in Ranchi Implementation of Rural Electrification Works in Dunbad under Integrated Power Development Scheme Implementation of Sewage Treatment Plants with a capacity of 5 MLD and 7 MLD in Sahibganj District and setting up of 300 MW captive coal-based power unit at Jahariya Coalfield in Dunbad District. And that's it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed and learnt a lot from it. I will see you with another incredible state of India in the next. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and share it with your friends.